This is a fun little topic. It's about ways that you can actually combine shapes within PowerPoint. It's kind of a freaky little cool little tool in here. I'm on the home tab. I'm going to click on shapes and I'm just going to add a circle to start with. If you want to make sure that it's circle like you can always come in here and modify that and now it is a circle four by four. And I'm going to change the fill color. I'm going to go with red for this one and I'll make the outline to match. All right, I'm now going to copy this and paste it, drag this one over here, and this one I'm going to fill with blue and make the outline blue as well. So right now I have one shape selected. Since it's selected, shape format appears on my toolbar. If I unselect that, shape format goes away. Select shape, shape format reappears. Most of this is available. I can't group because I only have one thing selected. I also can't merge shapes because I only have one shape selected. And that's what I want to do. I want to merge the selected shapes into new geometric shapes. So that means I need to select more than one. So if I also select this one by pressing control and then clicking on it, so now both are selected. Now merge shapes becomes an option. Well, unfortunately, they're not intersecting at all. So I need to actually you know, make it kind of look like a Venn diagram. And let's do that again. And now I can choose Merge Shapes. And if I hover over each one of these options, it will show me what it will actually create. So the part that's in red is the part that will get kept. So if I hover over this one, you see it will combine them into one shape. This one also combines them into one shape, but it subtracts the part that overlaps. Fragments uh, breaks it into three separate pieces. I'm not sure why the dotted lines aren't showing there, but that will break it into three different pieces. And this one's kind of interesting, intersects. Uh, it's only the portion that does overlap and subtract uh, the part that is covered is subtracted from the part beneath. So which way this appears will depend on layering. So if the one on the right had been created first and then the one on the left, then it would actually be the one on the right minus the one on the left. So this would be kind of reversed. All right, so let's, uh, let's try each of these. So there's the union. I'm going to undo that so we can see combine. I'm going to undo that one. Fragment. This works really well for Venn diagrams. Um, I would want to go in and change the colors of each part. But because each shape is actually a text box, text boxes are shapes and shapes are text boxes, sort of. But you can type inside of here. You can type inside of here. You can type inside of here. And then you can put your Venn diagram back together. Right. And our last couple are intersect and leaves only the part that is overlapping between the two shapes. And our last one is subtract. And again, just to verify that order matters, we're going to send this one to the back. Now this one is on top. Now the subtraction goes the other direction. So it's the one on top subtracting from the one on the bottom, or the newer one subtracting from the older one if you don't mess with sending forward or backward. Okay, so those are all just the, the basics of how you can merge shapes. Uh, you can also merge letters as well, though. We'll do that on a new slide. So if I insert and do some word art, I'll make this a little bit bigger. All right, so I have letters here, and I'm now also going to insert a shape. And inside of that shape, I'm going to right click format and I'm going to fill it with an image and that image is going to be leaves. I like that one. Okay so I created the word first and then I created the image but order does matter so I'm going to need to bring this forward because the word does need to be in the front and lay the picture behind it. I'm going to do control A to select everything on the screen. Click on merge shapes and you can see the different effects that could happen and there's the one that I'm looking for. Okay, so this puts the leaves into the word. So the word is actually made up of pictures of leaves. So just one way to use this. If I go back to my idea of the Venn diagram, four inches by four inches, a couple of these 
I'm not really concerned with the colors now because I know that I'm going to be filling it. So I'm going to select both, merge those shapes into one. And now that I have this particular shape, now I can fill that with an image as well. So the filling a shape with an image is kind of a cool trick. The combining shapes together into new shapes is kind of a cool trick. But when you put them together, it's like anything else in educational technology. When you combine multiple programs or apps together, and we call that app smashing, you get kind of increasingly wonderful results. So this is a bit of app smashing between the merging shapes feature in PowerPoint and the filling a shape with an image feature in PowerPoint. So just one more way to be creative, only in PowerPoint. So that is merging shapes, as well as some other ways that that tool intersects with other features within PowerPoint. Don't forget to click subscribe down below, where you will also find a link to my book, All the Microsoft Tools You Need to Transform Your Classroom, as well as my blog, theotherit.com.